it's important for us to get up there and, and uh, play extremely well. Uh, this will be the most competitive series that we've had here in the first half. And, you know, we're just trying to continue to get better and improve and, and be good to go here in, in March and really like our team and where we're at. Uh, but there's still some room for improvement, and we're looking forward to that. Well, it, it's hard when you lose uh, a player like Hannah Brandt, your all-time leading scorer, or Amanda Kessel, and you know, future Olympian. And, um, you know, but I think Kelly, Danny, Potty, Kate Shipper, Kara Piazza, those players are starting to emerge a little more than they have in the past. And uh, we need to continue to get contributions from everybody. And, and uh, the good news is that we've got great depth up and down the lineup, and, and so we should be just fine. Well, you have to have your big-time players step up in those big moments, but you also need the complementary players that maybe haven't been relied upon quite as much uh, throughout the year to, to make a big impact. And Sarah Pond at Mac last year with, uh, with that goal against Wisconsin to send us to the national championship game. Taylor Williams had, had a goal uh, right away against Wisconsin. Potty had a 113 seconds in against uh, Boston College. I mean, those are, are players that uh, uh, sometimes can get overlooked. I know uh, Potty was National Rookie of the Year, and so she had a lot of accolades. But then you, you look at somebody like a Taylor Williamson or a Kara Piazza, third-line centers that uh, that make big contributions down the stretch, and, and you need those players to be successful. It, it's uh, you know it speaks volumes to you know just how well she's playing and how well her line is playing. You look at, at Danny and, and Potty's numbers as well, and, and they're right up there. But um, you know, to, to have 40 or so points uh, at this point in the season, you know, you continue to have a great second half and you're into the 75 to, to 80 point range. That's uh, that's real, real good and, and some of the best in Gopher history. Well, I remember talking to her this summer and just saying, you know, we don't expect you to be Hannah Brandt, but, you know, those are the types of shoes that we're expecting to build. And, uh, and she relishes that type of stuff. Uh, uh, and so she's right where we need her to be. She's taking another step from last year where, you know, when you have somebody like Hannah Brandt on your team as the first line center and you're the second line center, there's not as much pressure on you to to maybe produce and be relied upon. But with Hannah gone and Kelly being our first line center, she's taken it upon herself to, to improve over the summer in the first half and, and really be something special. Um, Kelly's kind of probably one of the smartest players that I've ever played with. She just like, controls the game um, whenever she is on the ice. Um, so it makes it kind of really easy to play with her. She kind of gives you passes that you don't expect. Um, and if you give her passes, it's always in the back of the net. So she's um, obviously an unbelievable player to play with, and I'm really lucky to play on her line with her. I think just every year you get a little more comfortable with uh, what you're playing, who you're playing with, um, the game itself. Jumping from high school to college is, it is a jump, and um, having a few years under your belt at the college level really helps, and you're a little more comfortable. And just knowing that um, with some of our seniors last year graduating, um, that's a role that I had to step up into and be more of a scoring presence, whether that was scoring by myself or um, helping others in our team score. So that's what I've been trying to do and to play with great people who put the puck in the net, so it makes my job a lot easier.